So, you just bought yourself an Ovation Launch Community. You might ask yourself, how do I use this thing? Well, ask no more, because in this video, we're going to take a look at how to install Ableton Live 9, set up your preferences, and create your first track. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do to unbox your Launch Key Mini is there's the two tabs on the bottom. You're going to want to just pull those out, and then it just lifts up. And here you have your Novation User Guide and your Launch Key Mini. Now, we're going to set this aside for right now, because you're going to want to... There you go. And you're going to get this little card with the code on it. And I already use this code, so it doesn't matter if you see it. But it says, Say hello to your new studio. Ableton Live is a flexible music production environment that is also a powerful performance tool made to inspire creativity. That's why it's used everywhere, from the smallest bedroom studios to the world's biggest stages. I think that's pretty cool. And then, there you go. You need to read this. How to get started with Live Light. Download the latest version of Ableton Live at ableton.com slash live light. Once live is installed on your computer, launch Ableton. So now we're going to do number one. I'm going to go to ableton.com slash live light, and I'll meet you guys there. All right, so I'm at ableton.com slash live light, and you're going to just scroll down to get live nine light right here. So you can choose... If you have a Mac operating system or Windows 64, 32-bit, I have Windows 64, and you're just going to click download. Take a sec. You're going to download a Ableton Live zipped file, and that's going to take a while, so I will um, come back to you guys when it's finished. Alright, so Ableton just finished downloading. You're going to drag it onto your your desktop and you're gonna install it like you normally would any program so we're just gonna open it okay so I'm not gonna open it with WinZip um, let's open with we're gonna open with Windows Explorer that's okay set up there you go so you're just going to Go through the installation process and it will uh, ask you for some sort it'll ask you for your registration code when you're downloading it. So I'm gonna wait for this to load and I'm gonna go through the setup process and once I'm done and have it installed, I will be back. Alright. Next Accept. You should probably read it, but I already have read it because I already have it. Next, next, install. And this is going to take a while, so please be patient. It's a huge program. It's got almost a gigabyte of just little songs and stuff, so it's expected to take a while. So just be calm and, you know, go make a sandwich while this is waiting. Almost done. I mean, really, it's only been like, what, like four minutes? I just didn't want to have this running, talking, like, you guys don't really care to hear that. Just this. Alright. I think it will finish right now. It's just a lot. And after this installs, we're going to um, we're going to open it up, connect our Launch Key Mini, and we're going to set the preferences for Ableton so you can control it and get to know it. So, come on, almost there! Come on, come on, come on, almost! And there you go. We're almost done. Usually it goes pretty fast. Alright, I'll pause this and then get back to you guys when it finishes. Okay, finally, Ableton is done. Press finish. 
it's going to launch. And this is where you're gonna, you're gonna need your um, your Ableton Not Live card because you're gonna have to enter in the code because it's gonna launch and it's gonna say, "There you go, it's loading up." Because Ableton's gonna ask for it to um, to launch. Come on, let's go. The first boot up is very slow. All right, there we go. All right, there you go. Authorized with Ableton.com, and whatever web browser you have is going to open Ableton, so you can enter in your code and get it all done. All right. Alright, so it's going to ask you to create an Ableton account, so you just have to enter your email, your password, your first name, your last name, your country, and you don't have to click on this because I didn't, and you're going to create your account, but I already did that, so once you're finished, you're going to want to go ahead and log in. After you log in, it's very straightforward, you're just going to have to um you're gonna have to put in the the um the serial number that's what it's called put in the serial serial number you will keep clicking OK and authorizing it I already did my two licenses so unfortunately I can't show you guys but that's pretty much how you're gonna do it um now once you're done it's gonna set up some things it's going to um it's going to fix, it's going to import your core library, which all your um, devices are from. It's If you don't authorize it, saving and exporting are deactivated because you don't have it installed, so you pretty much just don't have it. There you go. Go ahead and, I uh, will go ahead and wait for this core library to finish, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, we're back. We have Ableton fired up, and that took no time at all, so now you're going to have this little thing. You're going to want to click on here, you're going to want to click on Options, your drop down menu, you're going to want to go to Preferences. Alright, now you're going to want to go to the MIDI tab, and you're going to want to click on the control surface, the number one, and you're going to find Launch Key Mini. Maybe it didn't. Yeah, there you go. Your output is going to be the launch key mini, but mine's not plugged in. Your input is nothing. And then when this is plugged, when the launch, here, let me go get my launch key. Let me get it, plug it in. All right, so my launch key mini is plugged in. Um, the output is Microsoft Wavetable Synth, whatever you have on there. You're going to want to arm the track and the remote. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Now you can see if I um if I mess around with the buttons or press I can play some stuff. So you're going to want to put on you're gonna want to click on file new live set and you will create a new live set. And here you can click on your instruments you can go to drum racks you can arm lots of things sounds drum racks go ahead just play around like there's nothing that there you go cool jam there's nothing that there's no tutorial on how to actually like I mean, there's tutorials on how to, like, make songs and stuff, but it's just kind of a learning experience. You just get good with the program, and you create your first live set. So, my first live set would look something like, like this. I would grab this, 
and I'd put it in here. And this is part of a piano. I don't think you guys can hear it. Let me turn it up. Pressing the buttons on the launch key. So yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the launch key goes. You can mess around with these, you can mess around with the knobs and such. I'll have a um, tutorial on how to actually make, like make a song, but I know I said I'd cover that, but that's pretty much is what it is. You just put one of these you just click on it and it will arm it in the thing it will arm it in Ableton so yeah thank you all for watching I really appreciate it subscribe so you'll never miss a video like comment and share whatever you want and yeah I want to hear if you guys thought this tutorial was helpful so drop a comment in the comment section below that's kinda of what it's there for and one last word of wisdom when you're working with this program, you need to make sure that you authorize. 